All right, we are back on SmackDown Live, subscribers. I am Costas. I am positively more your commentator, as usual. And this match right here was made not by General Manager Chuck Norris, but made by SmackDown Commissioner Shane McMahon. After what happened last time on SmackDown Live with Cat Noir getting in the way, so thanks to Cat Noir being in the way, this match is made possible. Trent Beretta versus Cat Noir, and here's the catch: if Trent Beretta wins. Rapongi Vice gets a SmackDown Tag Team title match at Money in the Bank. Also, Nick Love's banned from ringside. Also, shout out to Toxic Blue. The guy wanted to be a part of my shows, but I told him, I, yeah, there's a lot of people that are, that, you know, that were in my last season, so they got to be there too for the new season, so. But hey, at least he, at least he is trying, but here we go. If you haven't seen the match between Nico Bellic and Timmy Turner, thanks to this man and a steel chair, Nico's dreams of fighting for the SmackDown Tag Team titles were kaput. So, but Shane McMahon, he didn't want to let the NC walk away with that. So, Cat Noir, this is his punishment for getting involved. He has to take on Trent Beretta in this one. Yes, and the step is, if he manages to win, Bungie Vice get a tag team title match at Money in the Bank. It seems like for this season, Trent Beretta has been having a good season thus far. Let me just uh, shut that up. Sorry. Trent Beretta, he won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, faced the lights of Lincoln Loud and Jinder Mahal, took them to the absolute limit. But hell, Trent Beretta, he's still showing that he could do however he can do it, you know? Man's a former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion with Rocky Romero. And, and hell, if Rapongi Vice manages to win the Tag Team titles, they could be the first team to win not only the IWGP Junior Tag Team titles, but the SmackDown Tag Team titles as well. But for now, here we go. Oh, no tie up this time. No tie up this time. What the hell? And already, Noir makes the cover, but no. Already, Noir trying to end this early. My goodness. But Beretta able to counter. But at least, you know, Toxic Blue, you know, he's still showing support throughout my channel because, you know, he wanted to be a part of my shows, but I told him I can't really do that because, you know, lots of people for the last season might be downloaded, like guys like Jay Lethal, Flash Century, um, and a few others, and all. Oh, no! I think he was looking for a spine buster, I think, but what a counter from Beretta to DDT, and now Beretta. Whipping Noir. Lock the elbow. Oh my god, and delivered a forearm. Ooh! What a kick! What a kick to the face from Noir there. Oh! John Jacker. Got him up. Brainbuster again! Now, um. Now. Oh! For. Money in the Bank, only one match has been confirmed, and that's Evan O'Shea versus Bane for the Intercontinental Championship. Here comes Beretta. Oh, no, he got him. Ducked him with the clothesline. Series of elbows, and then a clothesline by Trent Beretta. John Jack. Oh, my God. What a boot. Noir putting them feet to good use. And, oh, right to the arm there. Interception. Oh, what an integrity! 
with Ken Noir being the French flying feline of the NC, you gotta wonder, big things could be happening his way if he was not a part of the NC, well he still is, but you know, big things could come his way, you know, maybe fighting for the X Division Championship, fighting for the- oh! Oh, weapon of Phoenix Splash, but Trent Beretta able to move out the way and now stomping away here. As I was saying, you know, big things wow, could come to War's way if he was not a part of the NC, you know. Future he Exhibition Champion, uh, maybe United, United, United States, or maybe He's if he was a part of the Cruiserweight Division on Monday Night Raw. I mean, hell, watch out Neville, because hell, the French That's flying feline could take that title away from you. Jawbreaker there. Also, I did state this. I did state this. Neville is the first man to be in the King of the Ring tournament. So yes, the King of the Cruiserweights, he wants to be more than just the King of the Cruiserweights. He wants to be King of the Ring, so Neville's the first man in the tournament. We're going to find out who the hell's going to be in the tournament alongside Neville. And Beretta to the very top rope. Beretta pulls! Oh my god! Diving double foot stop right on Noir! The cover! But no! Noir able to kick out! Kick to the back there! And a stomp! Also, I just realized something. I looked up the community creations, and it turns out somebody made a Max! Max from Camp Camp, by the way. Max from Camp Camp. On the CC, I'm like, oh my god, they actually did it. Someone actually did that. Whoever made that Max, you gotta, you gotta keep him in the CC. Cause I don't know, maybe I would edit him out. Cause you know, Rick's doing a formula for Max, and uh, well, I could probably fix the Max, but I don't know. It's either or, you know, maybe take the Max and maybe make it out. Rick does it for the gobstopper kick, but the war, no. So again, whoever made the Max from Camp Camp on the CC, shout out to you. And shout out to Toxic Blue for, you know, you know, trying his best to be in the show, trying to be a part of my league. But, you know, I told him, you know, guys like Jay Lethal, Flash Century, or, or, and new guys too, like Max and Krona, they're a part of my league as well. Coming very soon, so, you know. So, yeah, shout out to Toxic Blue still. At least you're supportive, by the way. I mean, how I support you on what you're about to do. And Cat Noir, what a neck breaker. Uh-oh. Could be thinking Feliner's kick. Here it comes, Fireman's carry. Feliner's kick. The Feliner's kick. The Feliner's kick by Cat Noir. Could that do it right here? Oh, it does not. Tramperette is still alive. Trent Beretta still alive in this matchup. Oh, me. It's he down here. Oh. You know, uh, such a match is already on a CC. That still doesn't mean Rick's not going to make the formula. Like, like, Rick, if you're watching this, you can oh, still do the formula, it. but I would probably take the match and probably fix him up. Oh, and here comes Kano on clothesline. Another shot there. Beretta into the corner. There's the... Body shot, I guess. No Whoop! Duck! Bam! And there's the French flying phenom right there! Here we go! No! Counter! Gobstopper kick! Gobstopper drop kick! The man just knocked the wind out of him! Could that do it right there? Oh my god, it did! That did it! And yep! That means Rapongi Vice is a SmackDown Tag Team title match! Here is your winner, Spirit A! Wow. Yep, it's official! At Money in the Bank, the Nick Club has to defend the tag team titles against Rapongi Vice! So, kudos to Trent Beretta and Rocky Romero for this one! What a win for Beretta, but now... Let's move on! Yeah, do you, Trent? You did it! Beretta might have had an opportunity, but here comes the NC! Oh my goodness! I knew that the NC wouldn't handle the loss that well, and now stomping away at Beretta! Oh no, the more- Oh, the shot to the face! Oh my god!